So this is uh, week one, day two, uh, starting off benches, uh, roughly 80 kilos. I have a pound plate, so I'll do what I can. Um, I had to bench at my school gym today, and so I have to deal with really crappy benches. They're super slippery. I was wearing a bar grip shirt to try to counteract that, but the unrack slots, because I have uh, max go width, and this is actually cheater max legal width, where it only looks like it's max legal width from the head judge's standpoint, you'll probably be able to see the rings uh, front on. I normally don't bench like that, normally I bench. Um, so if facing front, you won't be able to see the rings, but I just wanted to try it out for a session, see how it feels. Not sure I like it, I feel a little bit less stable when I'm out this wide. Uh, just that little extra, maybe half centimeter, seems to make a pretty big difference to me, so I'll probably move it back in. Uh, back to rings completely covered. Um, also, these benches are super tiny. And like I said, the unrack holsters are like literally taller than my reach there. First three went all right. Um, you'll be able to see from the side angles what I mean with those hooks, especially when the weight gets heavy and starts to you know, tuck my shoulder blades more artificially. Um, pretty much getting out of the racks, I have to untuck my shoulder blades and getting a spot, as you'll see in the last set, is even worse. So barely making it out. Uh, the hip high cue is literally the only way I can unrack it. I've got a friend giving me press commands, and these are feeling okay. Um, not really feeling as tight everywhere as I'd like, but I'm going to blame that partially on the bench and not being able to get a good setup on these. So here is 85 kilos, roughly, for a set of three. Um, and just setting up a grip. Nothing really to note on these. They they didn't feel too bad given the circumstances. They always feel pretty bad um, when I've got a bench at my school gym versus the off-campus powerlifting focus gym. But just got to do it. Um, it's 87 kilos. Sorry for the shaky video. My I work out, and if I work out on campus, it's because I'm working out with one of my friends and trying to keep them occupied, have them record my sets. But kind of decent here. I think the pauses are pretty good. He has never competed before, but you know, it's not that hard to give a press command once it's immobile on the chest. So, again, really hard to get into those and out of those hooks. And here he is just giving me a handoff, and you'll see it's even worse because with the handoff they take it up a couple inches and then it messes up. See, that was that was my shoulder blades untucking right there. I'm just checking someone to get out of the way. Just do these 200 pound, what, 90 kilo uh, triples. Felt not that stable at all, but I think that's because my shoulder blades completely untucked at the beginning. Um, that one was a little bit of a grinder, sort of in the middle of the lift, but then was able to finish it off strong. Um, here we go, front squats. I absolutely hate front squats. Well, I don't hate them, I am just don't normally do them, so I'm very bad at them. The uh, rack position in the Olympic style feels really awkward, and I feel like I just can't get that deep with them. Um, like, this is me trying to get as far down as I can. My stance is probably shoulder width, uh, and it's so hot and sweaty in this gym that my hand, because the bars have almost no knurling, and my right hand is, because it's really tight, slipping uh, out of the rack position, and you'll see it starts to affect some of uh, my reps. Um, see there, I think it started to slip out a little bit. It's real awkward. Um, one of these, I've got to get my heels up really high because the bar is pretty much only being held on my left side, and it's completely slipped out of my right hand and just an attempt to try to keep uh, the bar from tipping. I think it was this set, whatever, you'll probably see it if you just watch my heels. Uh, this looked pretty good. My, the last set I also widened my stance a little bit, just trying to make it feel a little more comfortable. Uh, but that ended up not feeling that hot either. There was my heel coming up on that rep. Uh, same with that one, just because the bar is slipping out of my hand. and. You try to pitch forward and catch it in the small belts that I have. Fourth set. All these felt like easy doing the reps. It's just literally holding the rack position um, 
oh, I think this is where I tried the, the zombie grip, but it just really hurt my delts, like the muscle part of it. Um, normally it's my clavicle that gets beat up because I don't have big front delts to rest the bar on. So, just chugging out more of these. I think the reps themselves look pretty clean. Of course, but I'm not a front squat expert. That was a uh, pretty high rep because literally if you saw right when I was racking it, the bar was almost out of my right hand. And I felt if I went in the hole, I might have jostled it out and lost the rep. So just went up there. Uh, here we go. I widened my stance here, and you'll see the depth is even worse. Um, I think it's just wider. I don't know if I lack the ankle flexibility or what, but I just seem to not be able to go ass to grass on front squats. Maybe it's just because I'm unfamiliar with the lift. So then we moved on to the incline bench press, uh, 3, 6, 10 at 50 kilos. I took my competition stance for these just because I didn't know what else to take. Some of the pauses on the first set were not uh, as long as I would really like, but I feel like I did a pretty good job of controlling the weight to my chest, not being all loosey-goosey and slamming it into me. Uh, these felt pretty good. No real complaints. Um, yeah, they actually felt better than I thought they would because I have previously been doing these, but I've been doing them after a whole lot of other bench work, like a whole lot, and I was worried that I wasn't able to get 10 reps of 50 kilos, but they actually were pretty good without the extra work all before it. Here's just the last set. Nothing really, at least that I can see that's wrong. So I'm always open to suggestions. Um, these bars have two uh, ring markers. There's one which is the power markers, and then this one that you're seeing here is a uh, like weightlifting mark. So if you're thinking that I can go wider, I can't. So that was day two. Overall, I thought it went decently. Um, bench press, uh, you'll have to tell me, I guess, if you see a significant difference between my setup on these benches and then the competition-style benches at the other gym. Uh, I have a feeling it'll just look a bit more clean and crisp. Uh, the front squats felt pretty easy overall. It was just holding the rack position. I'm just very uncomfortable. Uh, holding the bar in that sort of way, and then these inclines felt pretty darn solid. That's, uh, that's all I got.